it is one of my favorite types of videos to watch whenever I'm trying to relax or go to bed. It's sort of like questions uh, that you can sort of, you know, roll around your head while you're trying to sleep. Um, nothing too, you know, triggering or anything like that, but just, you know, some deeper thinking uh, of your mind to maybe, hey, maybe help fix something, think of something, help you get something off your mind. Um, I think it's kind of cool to sort of just be honest with yourself. And I think uh, with me and you, you, you watching this video, uh, it's kind of nice to sort of relax to something like that, something to just get your mind off of other things. So if you want to take this test along with me, that'd be awesome. Or just sit back, relax. That'd also be cool. And if you want to also like the video, if you like the video, I will greatly appreciate it. Or also subscribe to the channel. And I do also have, you know, other types of traditional ASMR content. Uh, role plays, things like that. I also have, um, you know, a lot of sports content, obviously, and some gaming content. Just a bundle of different things of my own personal interest. So take a look around my channel and subscribe if you like. And yeah, that's it. And I guess we can get started with tonight's video. Video, 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 video. Okay, guys, so the website I am using, if you want to follow along, do it yourself, and then come back to this video or do it along with me. Either way, uh, it is 1616personalities.com. This is probably arguably the most popular one. And if you didn't know, at the end of the quiz, which I realized is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, it's a couple like pages long. So uh, I might just, you know, do questions until the video is like a good amount of time and then I'll just skip in my end the rest of my questions until I am at the end and then come back to you guys with the results. So, uh, uh, obviously with the, the, the website title 16 personalities that will come down to a conclusion of one of the 16 personalities to see which one matches you 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 so again i thought these questions would be kind of nice to sort of you know talk about relax to uh not overthink to sort of just be honest with yourselves myself yourself i think it'd be kind of cool so with the first 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 question you regularly 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 why am i saying that kind of weird you regularly make new friends that's kind of cool um me personally uh uh also it's on a sort of ranking system so you either have strongly agree or you have some sort of middle ground to that and then do strongly disagree so anywhere between strongly disagree but maybe just you know in the middle of disagree um i'm a very you know i don't really like opening up to a lot of people i know like it sounds kind of bad but uh, i am a talkative person like at my job and when i'm like out and about if someone talks to me i'll talk to them you know what i mean but i'm very to myself so i'm not like out and about trying to meet new people if that makes any sense like so if someone's cool that's cool, but, you know, I'm not openly out there just starting conversations with random people and stuff like that, so, um, you know, I don't make a whole lot of new friends, I really don't even talk to really anyone, to be honest, sounds kind of sad, but hey, that's us being honest, right, um, it is what it is, next question we have, you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest, you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics. I'm going to say maybe just agree, kind of like the opposite of the last one. Um, I do spend a lot of my free time doing just random things that I enjoy, like whether it's like, you know, watching basketball or, or you know, listening to soundtrack uh, I do that a lot like I'll listen to the soundtrack of Disneyland rides I'm that addicted to Disneyland or different things like that I think that's what the question's asking right you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest yeah those are topics that pique my interest and they are very random at certain times so I'll say I agree to that um, next question seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too Guys, I am going to strongly agree with this. I am one of those types where if I'm in a movie and I see someone starting to cry, I like feel that emotion, which is really weird. Uh, if it's a person like I know in real life or a person in front of me that's doing that, that it's a GG. I'm, I'm right with that person. So uh, strongly agree with that one. 
ASMR, always thinking, you know, overthinking, anxiety, things like that. I'm definitely an overthinker, and I always think about, you know, multiple different outcomes for different situations, so I do overplan things sometimes, but on the other hand, I'm a very, like, laid-back, chill person and really easy and, like, go with the flow, so I do overplan things, but if things do change, I just go along with it very easily, if that makes any sense. Um, next question is, you usually stay calm, even under a lot of pressure? That's tough. <laughs> That's really tough. Um, I will slightly disagree. If I could put it in the middle, I would, but you usually try to not do that when doing these types of quizzes. Um, you know, pressure is, is, a, is, a, is a different thing in a lot of different situations. So like, if I'm playing a game of 2K and I'm tied, you know, game on the line, like that, that's not, man, you know, that's pressure, but it, like it's nothing that's going to face me. Like it's just, you know, having fun, it's pressure, but it's in a different way. And then there's a different type of pressure, pressure like, uh, I don't know, you know, bills are due or uh, family situations, life or death situations, you know what I mean? So under that type of pressure, I, I don't want to say I'm bad at, but because again, I'm an overthinker, I always think about different outcomes or but it does affect me very badly um, a lot. I see like lack of sleep and things like that. So um, when it comes to some things, I'm pretty bad. But in majority of like real life situations, I guess you could say I'm not the best at sort of handling that stuff. Um, also, another question at social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Um, I will agree to this, um, you know, going to parties and stuff like that when that was a thing. Um, I love going to them, but like, again, like the question says with a group of people I already know, I, I, I've gone to parties before where I only know like one person and then it's just like very weird when they also know everyone, but you don't know anyone. It, it's a very weird, awkward situation. Um, you know, I'm, I just went over saying, you know, I'm not someone who really just goes out of the way and just blabbers on to anyone, you know what I mean? So, um, I think agreeing to this, you know, I, I am very open, like I'll talk, well, not open, like in that way, but, uh, if someone talks to me, I'll talk to them for sure, but I'm not gonna just openly go out there and start chatting it up with everyone. Um, next page. See, there's a lot of pages. Um, next question is, you prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. Interesting. You prefer to complete one project, sorry, well, same thing, um, before starting another. Um, I am going to have to disagree with this one. <laughs> um, obviously, being a content creator, creating content for YouTube and videos and things like that, I am someone who is uh, guys, you have no idea. I am constantly thinking, looking, getting uh, motivation for videos literally 25 hours a day, eight days a week. Like, I am constantly thinking about YouTube all the time. Is that good? Sure. Is it bad? Absolutely. But it's just how my brain functions now. And I'm always, you know, editing a video, thinking of ideas for videos. Even in my personal life, you know, I'm playing, you know, one video game, another video game. I'm finishing one show, a different show, another movie, things like that. It's very hard for me to just sit down, do one thing, finish it, sit down, do one thing, and finish it. I'm very much a person who likes to switch it up, if that makes any sense. Um, next question is, you are very sentimental. Sentimental, sentimental, sentimental. I almost want to strongly uh, agree with this. I'll just agree with this. I do think I'm a pretty sentimental person. Um, you like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. I'll slightly agree. I don't really do that a lot. Um, I'll make a list here and there, like, uh, like for my real job list and then I, I have a 
once in a while, but not really often. So, like, I agree that I use them, but, like, I'm not someone who, like, wakes up every day and has a list of things to do every day and has, like, a, a thing on their wall of, like, lists to do or things to accomplish. I'm not that type of person. Uh, you feel comfortable just walking up to find... Oh, sorry. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Uh, we just talked about this, and, uh, no, I'm gonna disagree, almost strongly disagree, like, I am someone who, I am someone who always thinks that someone, is, you know, has an agenda, has something to do, doesn't want to be bothered, like, that's what I always go out with when I'm, around, you know, out and about with people, like, at the mall, uh, at a bar, at a restaurant, like, I never really, you know, chat up conversational with someone does with me, because, you know, I always think someone's already, you know, having a busy day, having an agenda, having things to do. So I'm not someone like that, I guess you could say. Um, you are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analysis of creative works. So you are not too interested. I'm, I'm almost going to strong, I am, I'm going to strongly disagree with this. I am someone who likes to talk about things that are interesting, at least to other people, um, whether it's, you know, again, like interpretation and analysis of creative works. I love photography. I, if I could be a photographer with like a, a, a couple thousand dollar camera, I would do it. I do have pictures. Like I take, like I can probably post some pictures up on this video right now if I remember. Uh, I love taking pictures, but I just have a phone and something too crazy. But, you know, I love art. I love going to art, you know, galleries. Uh, I love videography, I love, you know, cool workings and, 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 and music videos and movies. Uh, a lot of my favorite movies of all time are sort of those type of, you know, interpret yourself kind of movies. Um, and I love talking about that kind of stuff because it's, you know, everyone has a different opinion and everyone's different opinion is how their own mind works and that's really cool to think about. So that's just my opinion on that. Uh, next question. You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Oh God, another another deep question. You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Um, I am going to have to agree with that. <laughs> um, it could just be growing up. It could just be, you know, my own personal um, things I've been through, but I have found out through a lot of different things, usually following your head is like seven to six times out of ten the better option than what your heart says, I guess. Um, you know, feelings can change very drastically, you know, one second, but, you know, knowledge and knowing what is right and wrong and what to do and what not to do uh, is probably the better way to go, so that's just my own opinion. I think definitely, you know, following your heart and being optimistic and being hopeful and things like that. I feel like that's very good and you should always have that and always have that sort of your, your, in, or in your mind, I guess, but just strictly, you know, just going out on life, you know, following your heart is usually uh, not the greatest thing. It's not, it's not like a fairy tale out there, you know what I mean? Um, next question is you usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. I am going to slightly disagree with that. Uh, I think having a routine is good. I think having a good sleep schedule is good. I think, you know, waking up every day is good. I think, you know, planning things out, having your body readjust to things is really good. At least how my body works. I sort of have to have that sort of type of schedule. Otherwise, I, I feel off. I feel weird. I need, you know, to do certain things in the day to feel normal, if that makes any sense. But I'm not one of those people who are like, you know, 8 a.m., wake up, 8.15, get in the shower, at 9 o'clock, have breakfast. I'm not like that kind of crazy. But, you know, I think it's a, it's a good it's a good thing to have sort of, you know, set things in your day to make yourself feel good and to sort of have like a, a normality throughout your day, if that makes any sense. You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. 
never see them again. Even just recently, I was at the store, I was at the mall, and I tripped in the mall. I didn't fall, but I tripped and stumbled, and someone said if I was okay, and like, you know, it's not, it's no, it's no big deal, but in that moment, I wanted, and felt like wanting to die, like I felt so stupid, I tripped, um, in, in the mall, that was kind of funny, but, um, you know, it's things that happen, and I think everyone sort of, again, feels like that, but I'm not gonna strongly disagree, because again, who cares what people think, you know, I'm always like that in, in my own head, but, uh, when it happens to me, it sucks a lot, and so I'm gonna just disagree with it. Um, next question, you enjoy participating in group activities, ooh, you enjoy participating in group activities, I'm gonna agree, not strongly agree, because I do love, 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 love me time, I love spending time by myself, it's like that saying, I love, you know, uh, oh, what's it, is? <laughs> I forget what it is, it's like, I love being alone, but I don't want to be alone, or something like that, like, I like being alone, I like being by myself, but I don't want to be lonely, like, I don't want to have anyone, like, I like having people around, my friends, my family, for sure, but I do love being by myself, uh, at certain points in time, so, um, but I also do love, you know, going out to bars, I love hanging out, going to restaurants, and like that, but, you know, that doesn't happen all that often anymore, um, you like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretations of the ending, yes, I do, uh, not strongly agree, because sometimes those movies are type of, kind of stupid, sometimes they're a little bit too up to interpretation to where they don't even have, like, an ending, which is weird, they, they just sort of end, and then it's just like, uh, what happened? I don't like those type of movies, but, you know, the movies that have, like, some sort of different ending to a lot of them, like, um, I don't know, like, like, Donnie Darko, Donnie Darko is like a great sort of thing like that, you know, everyone sort of has their own meaning to what that movie even is, so, um, I think that's probably, like, the best example you can give, and I love Donnie Darko, I love Jake Gyllenhaal, I think that's a really, really, really good movie. It's just, again, it's so cool about everyone's different interpretation on what that movie's even about, so I really enjoy that a lot. Uh, okay, everyone. So, like I said, uh, there are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. Well, not a whole lot, but there's a good chunk of questions that if I talked over all of them, it'd take, like, an hour and a half to finish the video. So, I did cut it right there, finished my quiz, and now I'm on to the results. And in the results, there are different categories or groups that are sort of picked, and then there are individual sort of, um, I guess, characteristics or uh, a, a certain uh, type that you are in that category. So there are the analysis categories um, that are sort of, you know, more logical people, I guess. There are the diplomats, which are more, I don't know, diplomats, I don't know. They're, they're just a, a, a more caring type of group, I guess you could say. The Sentinels, which um, are pretty interesting looking. <laughs> there are the Explorers, which again, I don't know how you would categorize someone as categorize someone as an explorer. They're like the more like charismatic type of person, I guess you could say. Um, the Sentinels are more like I don't know, logical people, I guess. Um, so yeah, it is kind of cool. So, in my own personal, uh, I guess results. I am, I am a diplomat, 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 and the specific diplomat I am, well, there, let me go over some of them, and the diplomats, which is not what, what I am, there's the advocate, there's the mediator, the protagonist, which is kind of cool, and the campaigner, the campaigner, the campaigner, but I am a mediator, <laughs> that is what I am, uh, and well, it's the one I got. Me, myself, being a mediator, and I hope if you do take this, comment down below. If you already know yours, comment down below. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. And it is a INFPA slash INFPT. So, um, an INFP or a mediator is someone who possesses the introverted, intuitive feeling and prospecting personality traits. Interesting. These rare personality types tend quiet, open-minded, and imaginative, and they apply a caring and creative approach to everything they do. 
myself person, but I do love being, you know, out there, I guess you can say, so it does make sense. I am introverted, like that's a no-brainer. Um, imaginative, I guess, open-minded, yes. Um, creative approach to everything they do. I don't know about that. I mean, like, I do create videos for YouTube and for ASMR purposes, but even then, I don't really feel like I'm doing anything crazy. Like, Ephemeral Rift, that is creative. GBASMR, that's, that's creative. I just, you know, talk sports and have role plays here and there that are nothing new to anyone, so I don't know if I would really say that's, that's being creative, but I do create something, if that makes any sense. Um, mediators that you may know, I guess these are sort of the same type of people I could relate to in that sort of sense. Um, there's like William Shakespeare, there's Alicia Keys, interesting, um, Tom Edelston, who is low-key, uh, that's kind of cool, Julia Roberts, um, Johnny Depp, wow, uh, Frodo Baggins from Lord of the Rings, that's a really cool one, I guess I'm somewhat related to, to, to Frodo Baggins, um, Arwen from Lord of the Rings as well, that's kind of cool, um, any other interesting ones, yeah, those, that's basically all those sort of well-known ones, that's, that's kind of cool that they're have some sort of, you know, people I can think of in my head that I can relate to, which is kind of nice. Um, strength and weaknesses of this characteristic. Uh, they already talked about it being empathetic, which, again, we talked about. Um, generous, open-minded, creative, which, again, I don't really, I don't really agree with that one, but hey, maybe, maybe, maybe it's some way. Um, passionate, idealistic, that's kind of cool. Um, they also have weaknesses, which is kind of interesting. Same. I'm unrealistic, which I guess makes sense sometimes in some sort of scenarios. I'm pretty unrealistic. Um, can be hopeless romantics. Yep, okay, yep, you yeah, got me. <laughs> that is definitely me. Um, Self-isolating, yes. I Like I just talked about, I love being by myself, but I don't like to have to be alone, if that makes any sense. Um, unfocused, that is also me. It's like I talked about earlier, it's very hard for me to, to finish anything. Um, emotionally vulnerable. I would have to disagree. Like, I, I'm pretty close to, it takes me a while to like open up like emotionally to people. Especially again, you know, going through my past, it's, it's kind of hard to not be. Um, but I am very empathetic towards people I don't know, people who are hurting. I very, you know, that very makes me sad a lot. Um, desperate to please, yes, especially on YouTube. I always want to just make you guys happy. Um, Self-critical, yes, definitely. Um, that's really cool. So um, they also have, you know, uh, relationships, friendships, parenthood, career paths, work habits. They have a lot of different things you can look through through your own personality, I guess. So you know, take the test and see if it fits you. Um, I did some reading before I started, you know, talking, and I think it is very accurate. I think it's pretty good. I think I, I, I agree with a lot of things. Now, it, it could be, you know, like, um, you know, astrological signs, which if you do believe in, that's cool. But usually those things are pretty cookie cutter. Like, they are very fitting to a lot of different people. Like, I, I can look at, you know, uh, uh, Leo's, you know, types and how they are and think, oh, that's me. But then I'm a Libra and I can read things of Libra. I'm like, oh, that's me, you know, and things that are very general. Um, these things seem to be pretty accurate, which is kind of cool. So, um, again, I strongly recommend you take this and let me know what you get. I think it's kind of cool. Um, there's a lot of different ones. And I think definitely the coolest thing about this test is, is the, the little like mediators or, you know, personality trait you uh, have that are in different celebrities and stuff like, like William Shakespeare. I guess we're pretty, pretty related in that way, but, uh, yeah, guys, that's it for me. Uh, so, doing this little, uh, personality test, I am a mediator, which is kind of cool, and I really hope, uh, you guys do your own, I think it'd be kind of cool to see, so, um, anyways, uh, hopefully if you like the video, you like the video, I may do a part two, I could do, like, <laughs> I could do, like, the sorting house test from Harry Potter, I think that'd be kind of cool to see, like, what house I'm in, that'd be kind of fun. Um, or different things here and there. I could do different other tests if you guys want to. I think it's pretty relaxing to sort of sit here and watch someone else.